welcome 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 back to the channel yes 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 today we are going over another interaction of pop the balloon with arlette amule let's see what we have today let's see what nonsense is on display once again we have a group of ladies and the gentleman is gonna come forward and they decide or demonstrate their like or dislike for this person by keeping their balloons unpopped or popping their balloons please remember guys go ahead like comment and subscribe i want to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year let's see if it can be done well, let's go let's see what's happening here please remember go ahead and like comment and subscribe and also go over to our let's channel and show some love yes 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 let's go hey, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy hello welcome in what's your name kendall what is it kendall kendall how old are you 28 and what do you do so i work in tech on the hardware operation it side and I'm also a creator on the side, I DJ, and I also write films. Okay, cool. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Work out, play basketball, DJ, you know, <laughs> hang out with my friends, like we try different restaurants. Um, you know, like one of the things we've been doing a lot is going to different vinyl bars. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just, yeah, just exploring our music taste and stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Somebody that's genuine. Um, you know, somebody that's ambitious, mm -hmm. you know, somebody that really just knows what they're doing. And, um, you know, I like somebody that has good hygiene, okay. can take care of themselves. <laughs> yeah, you know? that's a big so, one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's big. That's big. So, yeah. Okay, what are some deal breakers? Uh, I don't like somebody that's, uh, like somebody that's rude, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, somebody that doesn't put themselves together, yeah. real, you know, but other than that, I just want a good woman. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Um, I'm Kay. I'm 27. Um, just not attracted. Um, the shoes are one of the first things I look at, and they're really dirty. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, you seem like cool people, though. Okay. For sure. So are the shoes dirty, or is that the style? Um, I mean, you know, no, it's, here's the thing. You know, I had this for a while. Um, but yeah. Yeah, for okay. sure. It's cool. It's cool. I mean, you could have just no, wiped no, them no, down no, a little no, bit, no, you, you sure, know. You sure. But other than that, yeah, cool, cool. Okay. So now is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she's cool. Good job. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Cool. Got one over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Christina, I'm 24. Um, I popped because initially I thought your shoes were like supposed to be dirty. So I, yeah, I liked everything else you said, you know. But then when you confirmed that they were dirty, it was just like, yeah, no, I'm sorry. No. Okay. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> How long you had these shoes? You said you had them a long time. Two years, you know. Two years classic. and they look like this? It's classic. It's classic. Okay. Right? I respect that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you could have cleaned them off for the show. Oh, now you're right. No. No, no, no. Straight. I respect. No, is uh, respect. Christina someone that's your type? No, she's cool. She's cool. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Let's head back right here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hamina, 27, and I popped my balloon because I'm not really big on a lot of facial hair, but you're very handsome. Right. And I like that you got black on black because I like black. That's my favorite color. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Now she's someone that's your type. Yeah, you know, it's my twin, so we could. Twin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. And then we got one right here as well. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. I'm Renee, 25. Um, I think you're very handsome. Um, I pop because of the outfit. Seems a little casual for the occasion, but okay. that's really it. All right, respect. But other than that, you're handsome. Respect. Appreciate mm -hmm. that. Now she, your type, someone you cool. go for. Yeah, she cool. Everybody cool. <laughs> Everybody cool. We got a pop right here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. I'm Carrington. I'm 26. Um, you're very attractive. Uh, your face, everything, great. Um, I didn't really like the ring. It kind of throws me off aesthetic. Like it, it gives. Just not me. Um, your outfit is fine, uh, besides the shoes, of course. But um, <laughs> yeah, that that was really it. You're super handsome. Shit. What's the ring? Could we see um, it? Um. So actually, so I got it from like a Native American tribe. So pretty much presents like blocking off like bad spirits and stuff. Oh, that's yeah. 
So I'm pretty big. I'm pretty what big. What is on that. it though? That's so what I'm trying to figure out. No, what? pretty much. So it's a. It's. It looks like a, a reaper, but pretty much like it's like a. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was getting. It was giving the gothic, the alternative oh, yeah, nah, type of not. energy, and that's not. Yeah, no, it's this. not. It's not gothic at all. But yeah. nah, I understand. I respect yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah, super nah, handsome. Appreciate Just, it. No problem. So now, um, is she someone you would go for? Is she your yeah. type? Yeah, no, nah, it's cool. She you could. Cool. Right? Yeah. Like, you know. Y'all cool. Y'all all cool. All right. Do we? Over here? Okay, let's get your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, I'm Ish. I'm 28, and you are very handsome. For me, it was the fit. It's not really my vibe. I like to dress up a lot. Yeah. Um, you seem like you're a dress downer, which is fine. It's just not really my swag. And if I'm being honest, are you bald? No, nah, I got like a I high get top. A ball, I get bald, so like on my thigh, and it's like like on the it's a little okay. bit, it's a little no, bit. No, I don't. I mean, if you want to see it, I, I don't need to see it. But yeah. I've seen kind of like the the yeah. And I thought you were bald, and bald is not my type. Okay. But just other than that, it's the outfit. Yeah. And you're handsome. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Respect. Yeah. I feel like I know the answer to this, yeah. but yeah. is she your type? She cool. She cool? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh please. <laughs> Okay, so we do have two balloons left unpopped. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these remaining ladies a question. See who's more of your match, if you even have a match still left here. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Mike? <laughs> what is one thing that you're currently working on that someone or you would consider as a red flag? Hmm. Okay, they're still pondering. You ready? Okay, <laughs> name and age and the answer to this question. Um, hey, I'm Tara, I'm 24. Um, you said a, like a trait that is a red, yeah, that a I'm trait. working on. Yeah. Um, I would say I'm definitely working on like my communication skills. Um, sometimes I can be a little passive just because I want to give my partner like g grace and space to like be themselves but um yeah I can say I'm a little passive sometimes and like not speaking how I truly feel um yeah Good. okay let's go to our next lady down here all right your name and age and the answer to his question hello hello how you doing? good how are you I'm good I'm good I'm Kia, 29. One thing that could be considered a red flag that I'm working on is I can be tardy to the party sometimes, but I'm working on the, the past several months. I've been slowly improving, but that is, yeah, something I've been working on. Okay. All right. And while we're here, any questions for him before we walk yes. back? <laughs> What's your name again? Kendall. Kendall. Oh, I love that name. Thank you. Um, do you have any religious beliefs? Yeah, of course. I believe do in God. Um, I grew up a Christian, so every day I pray to God, you know, before I go to bed, I just operate in a way where, like, you know, whatever I put out there, I know it comes back. Is it something like, do I go to church every Sunday? No, but um, something that the older I get, the closer I am getting to God. So something I'm just continuously to build on. If my partner, you know, that's something that's very important to them, it is important to me, and that's something we could build on. Okay, can I ask another? Go for it. Oh my God, it just left my mind. Oh no. Oh, you can pass. Okay, again. all right. <laughs> Let's go down here. Any questions? Um, yeah, you said you like DJ? Yeah. Like clubs or you do anything specific or you just in the club like all the time? No, I'm not in the club all the time. Okay. No, I'm not. So like whenever I get booked, you know, I would spin, but for me, like DJing is not really about like just like the popularity thing. I understand mm -hmm. it might be a red flag. <laughs> all the girls are around. It's yeah, not like that that's for what me. I was when I'm up there, I'm yeah. focused. You know, like my boy and I, you know, we're a duo. So you know, when we get booked, you know, we turn up in terms mm -hmm. of like just creating the vibe and the environment. Okay. What What was your red flag or the question you asked me earlier? Uh, for, what he's working. Yeah, what you're working on. Uh, for me, it's similar to you, like communication. Um, something that I've been working on for a while. Um, you know, like for me, years before, I feel like I used to bottle in my emotions a lot, but now I'm able just to really just verbally and, you know, explain myself and express myself and really just understand the real true uh, meaning of what's, you know, being vulnerable is. So mm -hmm. that's what I've been working on. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. We got to pop down here. All right, girl, why we end up popping? Kendall, beautiful smile. <laughs> um, 
I'll say that I would like to build with someone who's already at that level of communication. That's an issue that I've had continuously in my past when getting to know someone, and I'm huge on communicating. So that's that's a, a number one trait that I look for in someone. Yeah. Let's head on back to our. Ooh. Okay, why did we end up popping? Um, I like your personality, like your vibe and everything. You seem real cool, chill, laid back. Um, I think it was just the attraction. Um, yeah, like physical attraction. But everything else, like I liked about you. So, so you held on pretty long. Yeah, what changed? I kinda, like I, he's very handsome, uh -huh. and then when he was explaining like his uh, answers to his questions and everything they were I really like resonated with them but I think um you want to like be drawn to like the person you're with of course so. yeah 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 but that's that's it you're very handsome well put together I actually don't mind the fit <laughs> um but yeah okay I know your answer but is she your type? No, definitely. Okay. Oh, yeah. you got de everybody else got she cool. You got definitely. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, Kendall, that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for him, ladies. Thank you. Gentlemen, no woman wants a man that no other woman wants. I'm going to address two interactions in this episode one speaks to the lady who says what she's working on is her tardiness being late to the party means she spends a lot of time in the mirror means if you're going out on a date you may have to be waiting for her for two to three hours and Earlier, we spoke about knowing yourself and what it means to know yourself. We have to understand that, and this is what especially ladies never, ever, ever get. Nobody is perfect, but women have always been told throughout their life that they are perfect. So, in her view, her point of improvement, her red flag, what she's working on, should be okay for him. However, his red flag, what he's working on, is just not okay for her. Why? As men, you must know you have to be perfect to the T in everything. And if you're not perfect, there will be a reason for having your balloon popped. And I think we have seen this in so many instances in programs like this you should accept my shortcomings however don't expect me to accept yours there we go that's the end of that but thank you so much for checking in i hope you learned some things from this episode and uh, once again let me address the second aspect the young lady who popped after the, the, the young lady who popped last. As I said, no woman wants a man that no other woman wants. So, initially, she knew she wasn't attracted to him, and yet she held onto her balloon. If what she seen was truth, her balloon would have popped way further up, much earlier, in the conversation. However, since her competition popped, her competition gave up. So she now has to give up as well. Because no woman wants a man that no other woman wants.
Go ahead and hit the like, comment, and subscribe button, guys. Let's get those subscriptions up there. Checking out once again. Thank you so much for joining.